hello everyone so now we are going to launch one more playlist actually as per our student request we are going to do the projects in the packet tracer and also we are going to do in the gns3 and evng but first we will start from the packet tracer as per many student requests we are launching this series uh, what we can give the name we can give like uh, projects mini project or projects we can give uh, projects so in that one we have the first project if you see here we can say a small company network we need to design the small company network uh, in this video we are going to discuss what we need to do and next video we are going to do so I am going to create the small playlist uh, video will be like 10 10 minutes or 15 minutes video so you will also enjoy that one so you will have maybe four or five videos for this project this is a small company network actually we have the requirement depending upon this requirement you need to work here if you see here this is one project you need to do here what we are mentioning here is design and implement a small company network so in this one we need to work we need to do from the scratch we can do this lab in the packet tracer later we will see in the evng gns3 but now we are going to focus on the packet tracer because many students is using packet tracer only the fresher this uh, this project is for fresher as well as the experienced guys also they can what we can say they can brush up their knowledge so here what we have in this one we have the company has three floor we have the three floor in the company in the first floor there are three department in the first floor we have the three department reception is there store is there logistic department is there in the first floor and in the second floor we have the IT department finance department and admin department department is there in the third floor we have the HR and we have the sales so this department we need to create and here there is a, some condition we need to satisfy uh, what we are having here there should be three router connecting each floor so like we can say if I am using the three department and three floor like this I can say I have the floor here we can plan maybe this is a first floor this is the second floor and this is the third floor we can plan so each floor should connecting the one router so I can place one router here or we will have the server room in all the what we can say in the server room we can keep all four routers so three router we should use here okay they are saying three router so we can use three router and each floor is expected to have one switch so each floor should have the switch so here will be we can say switch one switch two switch three so three switches you will have and here if you have the IT room somewhere there will be we can say we have the rack we will have the three router there R1 R2 R3 later we will do in the packet tracer more clearly so this we can say this one is connecting to the switch one switch two switch three and this one internally they are connected like that we can say and each floor we will have the Wi-Fi network so we can connect the access point here AP1 AP2 AP3 like that you need to install you need to install the access point so they can use the Wi-Fi network this one and the printer should we, we should have the printer each department so here we have three department here three department here two department I think first floor is three department here is three department here two department each department should have one printer so we need to connect the printer also so here this one and after that each department is having the different VLAN so if you see here first floor we are using this three department so they give us the three department name that is logistic reception and store and what VLAN we should use for the department it is already mentioned here and also if you see in this uh, we have already the IP schema also what IP schema we are going to use it is already mentioned here for logistic we need to use the VLAN 10 and we should use this IP schema for reception we should use the VLAN 20 and we can give this schema and for store we can give uh, we can take the VLAN 30 and we can give this IP same for the other like second floor admin IT and finance they give same like that and also the third floor they given HR and the sales so we can uh, what we can say 
we can use this IP schema and at last what they are saying use the OSPF as a routing protocol to advertise the route like we are saying three router we are using so we need to use some routing protocol so we are going to use the OSPF and all the device in the ne network expected to obtain the IP dynamically so we should use the DSCP server here if you see dynamically with respected router configure as a DSCP server so they are saying whatever router we are going to assign to the each floor in that router we need to configure the DSCP server and from there all the devices should get the IP address so we need to do that DSCP configuration in the router and all the devices in the network are expected to communicate with each other means we need to do the inter VLAN routing so all VLAN can communicate with each other and also here if you see configure the SSH in all router and switch so we need to configure the SSH and the uh, SSH they are asking SSH in all the router and the switch so we need to configure the SSH in all the router whatever router we are using three router we are using three switch so we need to enable the SSH in that one so we can access remotely and what else we have here in IT department we can install one computer to access all the router and switches with the help of SSH so we need to install one computer here in the IT department okay they are saying we need to install so this is the our uh, requirement this is a small company setup we can say we need to do this one so just roughly as I draw here you can uh, try because you are going to get one more video in that one we are going to do this design in the packet tracer but anyhow roughly I will design here whatever I understand they are saying we have three floors so I will d uh, draw like this first floor this one we can say first this is a second and we have the third one here okay third one we have here and they told each floor should have the switch so we will have one switch here each floor is having switch and they told we will have the three router so here is one router R1 R2 R3 we can say and this router internally they should connect it to each other like this and this R1 will connect to this switch 1 R2 switch 2 R3 will switch 3 and after that here three departments so I can just make one block this is department 1 department 2 in the third floor you have two department so here you will have uh, maybe two three PC one uh, a printer that all should connect like this here also same thing and you need to have one access point same thing will repeat here you will have here three department not two department so this block is nothing but department inside this one you will have one printer and computer one printer and computer one printer and computer here will be access point same thing here in the first floor if you see you have three department this one okay so here also you just I will put the block so by seeing this block you can understand one uh, department and I will connect like this so here you will have the computers PCs and printer PCs and printer PCs and printer so maybe if you are having each department is having four four PC four cable will go here and one printer means five cable here is five cable here is five cable just for simplicity I'm putting one cable just to show you okay and also you will have one access point here like this so this is a scenario after that in this router you need to configure the OSPF as they told we need to configure OSPF here and in this router we need to configure the DSCP server so this router will give R1 will give here the IP to different department R2 will give the IP here to different department R3 will give the IP to uh, all the different department here so we need to configure the DSCP and also we need to do the inter VLAN routing in this so here what we can do we can use router on a stick routing router let me write here I can write router on a stick so you can use the router on a stick so we need to use router on a stick here so it will work as a inter VLAN routing so this is simple and also where is the IT department somewhere you have IT department here if you see IT department is there let me make this little dawn if I make little dawn you have here the IT this one IT department where it is in the second floor so here you have the IT department so you need to install one additional desktop so with that one you can access the 
all the networking device remotely so here you need to enable ssh 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 and all three router we need to enable ssh so this guy whoever sitting from uh, it in this computer he can access remotely this device we need to do this also okay i hope you enjoy this one this is just overview about the project which we are going to do this is a small company network this is very small company later we are going to do big big project also but we are starting from small so all the fresher also can enjoy this one okay in case if you have is, uh, any doubts anything write in the comments and you need like this projects or not just put in the comments if you need like this we can continue this series okay thank you bye